the departure of St. Malatius the Confessor, Patriarch of Antioch, on this day of the year 381 AD. St. Malatius the Confessor, Patriarch of Antioch, departed. He was ordained a bishop for Sebasti in the year 357 AD. He left it because of the rudeness of goodness of its people and lived a solitary life nearby the city of Halab in Syria in the year 360 AD. He was chosen a party of folk Antioch during the days of Constantius, the son of Constantine the Great. He was an eminent, learned and meek man who was loved by everyone. When he entered the city of Antioch, he restored the Arians and kept them away from the churches. When the emperor heard that, he exiled him in the same year, the, the same year that he was enthroned patriarch. The noblemen of the city of Antioch, the bishops and the priests, met and got to the emperor asking for the return of the patriarch. The emperor returned St. Malatius in shame to them. When St. Malatius came back in the year 362 AD, he did not cease arresting the Arians, excommunicating them and all those who believed in their doctrines. He made clear to them their the errors and explained to them their the blasphemy. He declared, preached, and confirmed the, that the Son was of the same essence as the, as the Father, consubstantial with him in essence and in Godship. The followers of Arius returned to surrender St. Malatius before, before the Emperor Valens resulted him against, again to a country further away than the one to which he was exiled first. When he arrived to his exile, the bishops and the fathers that were exiled from the foreign countries came and gathered around and stayed with him. St. Malatius did not stack in teaching and the interpreting more difficult to understand in the Holy Scriptures. His epistles reached his flock in spite of distance, confirming their faith in the Holy Trinity, preaching the faith of the Council of Ikea, and refuting the teaching of Arius. He was ex exiled for many years until his return to Antioch in the year 378 AD. He was present in the Council of Constantinople in the year 381 AD, then he departed in peace. John, St. John Chrysostom, the Golden Martyr, praised St. Matthew on his first day, declaring his greatness and that he was in endless stature, that the apostles in honor for what he suffered for his sight and humiliation for the sake of the Orthodox faith. His prayers be with us, and glory be to our God forever. Amen.